evening, all you Trojan fans. Tonight, the Trojans play host to the Red Raiders of uh, Lords Regional High School. As the Trojans make their entrance onto the ball field here, the band and the cheerleaders tonight providing the uh, the uh, tunnel here. And uh, we'll be set to go here now as a team coming off a victory last week against Millersburg down at Millersburg. Looks to continue their winning ways here in the 2000 season and by going after their third straight victory tonight here against a uh, pretty big Lords Regional Ball Club. So we'll find out how the fellows make out here in just a moment. We're moments away from kickoff. Good side. <laughs> All right, here come your Trojans and we'll be set to go in just a moment. It's a beautiful evening for football tonight again. The sky about partly cloudy, but uh, just a nice evening. There's a little bit of a breeze blowing across the field from our side of the field over to the uh, Lord side of the field. But otherwise, uh, just a beautiful evening for football. Co-captains out there tonight for uh, UDA will be number three, Savage, number two, Lucas, number 59 is uh, Kyle uh, Grafe and uh, number eight, Kevin Motter. So we'll be uh, set to go here now following the opening toss of tonight's football game. It looks like uh, the Red Raiders have won the opening toss and they will defer until the second half. So they're gonna try to pin the Trojans back and uh, the Trojans will receive the opening kick. The Red Raiders will be defending the south goal here at uh, UDA. So we'll be set to go here in just one moment. Okay, the Lord's ready to kick off here now. The Red Raiders get it underway. Back deep is uh, Motter and Savage for UDA. Jim Savage will be on the near side. Motter on the far side of the field for this kickoff. And here it comes. Going to go over towards Motter's side. And the Trojans will allow it to roll out of bounds. And so that'll either require a re-kick or they'll bring it to the 35. The UD has the choice and the option. And we'll see which way they decide to go. It's out of bounds at the nine. And so they'll kick it over the way it looks. Fellas look like they're relining up for a free kick. So they'll kick it off from the 35 yard line. Well, against uh, Lords, of course, as they tried to perhaps kick it away from uh, Jim Savage, hard to tell, but uh, we'll see where he kicks the next one. Let's see if he'll try to put it over there on Motter's side of the field. This time it's going to go right down the middle and picked up here by uh, Kenny uh, Bats. Kenny Bats up the middle with a Ken trying to turn it over the right side here, but is tripped up at about the 43 yard. A nice return by the Bammer. Kenny Bam Bam Bats coming up the field with that one. Nice return for Kenny. Gives his Trojans good field position at the 43 yard line where the Trojans will put it in play first and 10. They're holding up over here on the sideline. And now they'll go and see what they can do on their first play from scrimmage. Faust is the quarterback. They're going to send everybody out on the far side of the field now, unless they're just going to fake them out here. Nope. They're going to throw a screen back over there for Savage. Savage has got it down the left side. He goes at the 45, the 40, all the way down the side. He's gone. He's going to be thrown out of bounds down inside the 25-yard line. We'll see where they spot it. There's a penalty flag, however, on the play. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. Back, back here around the 35-yard line. It's holding against UD. So the first play from scrimmage goes for naught as a holding penalty called against Upper Dauphin. And that will nullify a fine run and some great blocking out there by the Trojans on that first play. But somebody apparently grabbed the jersey or something and got flagged for a hold. And so it'll bring it back and give the Trojans a first and... Uh, Well, now, wait a minute. According to that, we got an advantage. What the heck is it? Still first down, but the Trojans only have seven yards to go. And I'm not sure about that one. I don't know what that was. 50-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Okay. 
from the I formation. Savage has got it. Looking to try this side over here. This time he's going to be tripped up in the backfield as he slipped a little bit that time to Jim. At about the 42 or 44 yard line, they'll spot it. So it'll bring it back to almost the original line of scrimmage. It'll be second down and 10. A second down and 10, or nine anyway. Brian Faust, the quarterback, he wants to throw. He's looking downfield, got a man out here. It's gonna be Smith, and Smith has got it. Smith tears down the sideline, needs a block from Motter. He got it, and, Brian, and Smith will go all the way down inside the 10. Oh, a great run by that Chris Smith on a fine pass from Faust to Smith. Takes it all the way down to the six yard line or five yard line where the Trojans have put it in play first and 10. First and goal for the Trojans. Handoff is to uh, uh, Smeltz, and Smeltz gets down to about the one-yard line. It is going to be very close. Zach took her down to the one. It'll be second and goal from the one. Sit and drives in for a touchdown. So the Trojans in about four plays have driven it downfield and have scored the touch first touchdown of the ball game. It is six nothing UD and the extra point try coming up. The extra point. Here's the try. The kick is up and the kick is good. And so the Trojans strike, uh, striking very quickly here tonight. Take a quick seven nothing lead. We played. Uh, I find a score. Well, here we are. They played two minutes and seven seconds, and we've got a seven nothing lead. We'll be kicking off to the Lord's Red Raiders here in just one moment. The uh, Trojans now will kick off here. Jason Henninger getting set to kick off for UD. And here it comes. And a nice kick. Going to be taken at the 11 yard line to the 15. He tries to wind it around to the 20. But going to be tackled on a fine stop out there by number uh, 42. Dwayne uh, uh, Twietti making a stop there for uh, UD on a fine tackle out at the 20 yard line. So uh, Red Raiders will put it in play first and 10. The ball just shy of the 20 yard line. This time in the ball game, the uh, Red Raiders will put the ball in play. Number five, the QB. I'm not going to try to get the names of these young fellows tonight. We'll just call him the quarterback. He'll hand it off. The fullback takes it over the right side. That's Snyder, number 11. I didn't catch that. He gains about uh, four on the play. We'll bring up second down and six. Ball is on the Red Raider 24 yard line, second down, six. Hand off Snyder again, or Snyder handed off the 43, and coming around this side is a good run and being tackled down there by Kevin Motter finally. Keeper making the run for the uh, Red Raiders, first down. The ball out at the 31, 32 yard line, almost a 32. First and 10 from the 32. One of first and 10 from the 32 yard line. I'll go the Red Raiders. Coming up the middle with it and tackled almost immediately. A good stop made by 32. Uh, Bar uh, Barter making a good stop in there along with uh, several other of his Trojan buddies. Bobby Bueller. Kyle Barter leading the tackle for the Trojans. Brings up second and eight. Picked up two on the play. It'll be second down and eight now for the uh, Red Raiders. <clears throat> Both the 34 yard line of uh, the Raiders, oh, there's a ball lost, gonna be picked up, I think, yes, it's gonna be covered there as falling upon the ball is Robbie Bueller coming up with the uh, re with the uh, recovery of that fumble. And so UD immediately taking over now on a good re fumble recovery by Rob Bueller. Kyle Grape, the center for the ball club out there. 67's Cummins playing on the left side. Send Motter in motion over to the left side. Quarterback wants to throw. Faust rolling back, looking. Now he's going to get a lot of pressure. He's going to be tackled back here at about the 
33 yard line. We'll see where they spot it. Back to the 33, a loss of six. It'll be second down, 16. Side of the field on this play, Hass uh, Bo, Bo uh, Hassinger on the far side. Faust hands it off. Here comes Savage with it, trying to turn to the right side here. Can't quite get it. Maybe got a yard or two to the 32. It'll be third and 14. Zach Smeltz in the fullback position. Savage the running back. Otherwise, receivers flanked out on both sides. Here's Faust looking. Faust fires one over the right side over there. It's incomplete. And there is a flag on the play, however, and the flag is at the line of scrimmage, so it probably would be a holding call maybe made on UD. We'll see. It is holding against Upper Dauphin. And that'll take the Trojans back a couple of yards, I guess, unless they, uh, well, no, they won't. They won't do that now. It's a fourth down play. It'll be declined, which it is. And it'll be fourth down. And 14. The Trojans, of course, will go for it. Here they're at the 31 yard line of uh, Shemokin. Lords Regional. Timeout called by Lords. Here in the first period, Trojans up seven zip. And the Trojans will go on this big fourth down play from the shotgun. This is going to be Lucas. He fires one downfield. It's going to be incomplete, intended for Chris Smith. So whatever that play was supposed to do, it didn't do it. And so Lourdes will take over now. First and 10 on their own 31. The Red Raiders break the huddle now on a first and 10 play for them from their own 31 yard line. Pitch over on the far side he goes and Keeper is not going to make much. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Salvated there by uh, Graith and uh, number 58 for a UD. Jeff Knoll also in on that last stop. No gain on the play, second and 10. Second and 10. QB wants to throw. Looking downfield, bit some Trojans out here as the ball is tipped. Here's Savage with it. Savage at the 35. Savage still on his feet and rambles down to about, and there's a flag. There will be a late hit call on that one. That'll get three more, 15 more tacked onto the back of that play as a guy came in there really late, and the flag popped up immediately. So that's going to take the ball even further downfield. And uh, let's see. The penalty on Lords Regional will take the ball down inside the 15 yard line. Let's see, they'll put it on the 14 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 UDA. Personal foul is the call against the Raiders and it will give the Trojans a first and 10 on the 14 yard line. They set up this time with Zach Smeltz as the only runner in the backfield for UDA. Everybody else flanked out wild. Faust wants to throw, fires one over this way. It is complete to, uh, to Motter. Kevin Motter down the left side. Kevin down to the touchdown, I think. Yeah, touchdown. Kevin Motter from 14 yards out on the screen pass, takes it in for six. And it's now a 13-0 score as the Trojans score quickly here on this possession. Right from the 14-yard line, Kevin Motter taking it in on a fine reception and a good pass from Brian Faust. And so the score is now 13-0. And the Trojans, who are very offensive-minded here in the first couple of three ball games so far, so good. Good snap placement down. Savage kick looks good from here. It is good. Jimmy two for two makes the score 14 to nothing with 522 remaining here in the ball in the uh, first period of the ball game. And the Trojans will be set to kick off here in just one moment. Here we go now as the Trojans get set to kick off for the third time in the ball game here in the first quarter. And uh, Henninger got her teed up, kicks it down, and not too deep this time. Taken at the 20-yard line to the 25 he goes, and then he's going to be stopped out there on a good tackle by Wade Whitmer coming up there and making the stop on him, along with uh, number 13, uh, Zach Buffington. Red Raiders. 
First and 10, Red Raiders on the 27 and a half yard line, whatever. You can see it there in between the 27 and the 28 yard line, so you can call it first and 10. QB going to look him over. Going to pitch it back over this way. Coming around this side comes uh, 43, and he is going to be dragged out of bounds. Pretty good gain on the play out across the 35 to the 37 or so yard line. Good gain on the play. It'll be about a gain of eight. Second down and two. Six yard line of uh, Lords. Second and two. Trojans caught a break the first time they had uh, the possession, of course, with the fumble. QB hands this one off. 43's got it. Spins off the right side over there. It's got some good running room. Now he's got a couple of guys to beat. And he is going to be tripped up on a good, perhaps, touchdown saving tackle as uh, Sean Lodenschlager come up, or Bo Hassinger, rather, comes up to make the stop on him. And uh, sorry about that, Bo. Anyway, Bo. Uh, Making a good stop down at the 29 yard line where the Red Raiders start to act up now. They'll put it in play first and 10 in UD position uh, for the first time tonight. 10 now for the Red Raiders and they're going to call time. Something is amiss here and they will call time out. Penalty flag actually. I think they were lined up wrong. No delay a game rather. All right. The Red Raiders get flagged for five for delaying the ball game. And we'll make it a first and 15. The ball moved back to the 34 yard line. Okay. First and 15 now for Lords. Pitches over this way. Gonna try to turn this side. Coming up to get him is uh, Motter. Nope, not Motter. It's a nine rather than an eight. Mm. Oh, Minnick. Steve Minnick. All right. Steve Minnick with a fine tackle that time. Gain of three on the play to the 31 yard line. Be second down and 12. On a second down, 12 play now. They split the backs in the backfield for the Red Raiders. Quarterback will pitch it. Snyder around the right side over there. And a good tackle made in there that time by uh, number 82, Henninger. Jason Henninger making the stop. Got back to the original line of scrimmage, which will bring up a third and a little long 10. Raiders on a third down and a long 10. Again, from that split backfield, quarterback looks like he wants to throw. Dumps one over this way. It is going to be complete, but stopped out there immediately by uh, number 18, Bo Hassinger. And uh, it'll be down at the 23 yard line. Be fourth down and a long four, fourth and four. Right now, this time they go to that I formation in the backfield again for the Red Raiders. Handoff is to the running back, and he is tackled on a fine tackle by Barter. Making a good stop again, number 32, Kyle Barter making a big stop for UD. And that's going to stall the Raiders right there, give the ball back to UDA. It'll be put in play first and 10 by the Upper Dolphin Trojans on their own 25-yard line. Good defensive series there for the Trojans. Three receivers out on the near side of the field. Savage with the football. Over the left side he goes. Jimmy Savage. Oh, it is loose and oh, tripped up. A fine tackle made out there by one of the Red Raiders on Jimbo, who might have been off to the races for sure. But a fine gain on the play all the way out to the 47 yard line, where it'll be first and 10 UD for the Trojans from their own 47. Handoff this time is Savage again, and this time he got the first down as he gets to the 48-yard line. But uh, or, rather, we gained a yard. Rather, it'll be second and nine. Now oh, it's going to be called by UDA. Remaining in the first quarter, the Trojans with a 14-0 lead. They'll have the ball, second down and nine, at their own 48-yard line. When we come right back. It's over there looking at a second down and nine from the 47, 48 yard line of Upper Dauphin. 
pass right over the middle and it goes to Motter. Motter into the secondary for a first down. Kevin Motter with a nice reception on a fine pass from Faust. And the Trojans will huddle it up pretty quickly here, I think. It looks to me like Faust has already got most of the signals. Kenny the Bammer Bats going into the lineup for UD. Smith and uh, Motter coming out for Upper Dolphin. Lucas will flank on the near side of the field. Hassinger on the far side. In the eye formation, they go in the backfield now. It'll be uh, Bats at the fullback. Bats got it, but then uh, the fumble, the ball came loose. McKenney fell on it as he bounced to the 45, or to the 40 yard line, rather. And no, he did fall on it. It was recovered by the Red Raiders. So the Bammer coughed that one up, and uh, the Red Raiders have got the ball back now with 52 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Okay, the uh, ball is placed actually at the 39-yard line. Back to pass goes the QB. He's going to dump one downfield. we got a couple of guys out there. It is tipped as both uh, La uh, Motter and Lucas defending on the play out there. So uh, they knock it down, stopping the clock with 46 seconds remaining here in the half. And Lords with a second and 10. Second down and 10 for the Red Raiders of Lords Regional. Quarterback will throw, looking. Fires one over the middle, it is complete. Or incomplete. Okay, I thought he had it. Nope. It'll bring up a third and 10 for Lords Regional. Third down and uh, 10. Quarterback will throw it again. Huh? And he has got the ball knocked out of his hands and a fumble. Let's see who's got it. It's going to be recovered by the Red Raiders. Good. Charge that time by UD. And uh, ball spotted all the way back at the 28-yard line where the Red Raiders will put it in play, or 27-yard line maybe. Not 28. They'll punt. Savage and Lucas back to receive this one. Low snap, but he'll get no rush. And so a flag is down. This one might be coming back. Yep. Taken here by Savage at the 42. Jimmy to the 50 and gets to the 47 or 8 yard line of uh, Lords. But uh, it'll be a flag on the play. So we'll see what happened as the buzzer goes to end the uh, half, or first period rather. <laughs> Penalty that time, Lords for illegal motion, that was declined by UD, and the uh, holding penalty against UD is marked off back to the 41 yard line. Now there is, there should be, should have been a couple s seconds. No, I guess not. Well, okay, what are we in, boys? The second period now or the first? Second period. All right. I don't think so, though, because we're still going the same direction. Should be the other way. No, it, it, they left the darn. There's a play here to be run. See? Should do it now as the quarter will come to an end and the teams will change sides. So uh, that did it. The quarter ends right there. And uh, UD will be putting it in play second and 10. They will be on their own 42-yard line heading north here at the ballpark. Trojans now set to go on a second and 10 from the 42-yard line. Motter will come in motion over this way. Single set in the backfield, but they'll pass a flare pass over here for Motter. Motter's got it. Motter's got it to the 50, the 45-yard line where he's driven down here. First down for Kevin Motter. A nice pass and a nice run there by Kevin Motter. Kevin will check out of the ball game here now as he'll be replaced in there. But uh, let's see, they got it at the 44-yard line of uh, Lords Regional. First and 10. Savage checks back into the ball game for UD. He'll be lined up behind Zach the Ripper Smelts back there, the fullback. Single flanker on the near side of the field is Bo Hassinger on this play. Faust. Looking for it, pitches it back over here for Savage. Savage trying to make his way upfield. He's going to be tackled and thrown back. And a flag flag on this play also. Flag on the play. And it will be a hold called against UD on the play. 
So that's going to bring the Trojans back a little bit and give me second down and uh, about uh, 25 or is it a 10 yard penalty. Okay, second down and 21. And coming down at the ballpark right at the moment, just a sprinkle should be a passing thing. It'll be uh, second down and 21 and timeout called by UDA. They will call their second timeout of the half. And so the Trojans call time. Here in the first half of play, Trojans up 14 0. All right, here we go now on a first and uh, 21. Ball spotted right on the 45 yard line of UDA. Handoff is to Savage. Savage going to try the left side over here, and he is going to be thrown down after a gain of about two. Now bring up a uh, second down and 19. On a second down and 19 now, Faust spreads him out. Single set is uh, Smelts in the backfield. Faust wants to throw it. Fires one down the far side intended for uh, Lucas, but uh, over Jared's head pretty much, and he could not haul that one in, so it'll bring up a third down and 19 for UD. He would have, might have tried to reach this high and still couldn't have caught that one. Okay. Third down, 19 for UD. Smelts again, the single set in the backfield as Faust probably was to throw one. He's looking back to pass, fires one downfield deep. A man out here is Chris Smith at all. Chris just could not get extended far enough to grab that one. And will bring up a fourth down and 19 for UD. Good effort, but uh, nothing doing. So UD will be forced to punt. And that means they'll bring, uh, let's see, who was it, Henninger? I believe it might be Henninger. Yep, Jason Henninger to punt. Snap looks good, kick, nice kick. Gonna be taken down, well, it's gonna be bouncing around and going into the end zone for a touchback. So they'll bring it back out here to the 20, where it'll be put in play first and 10. About a 52 yard punt that time by Henninger. So uh, Raiders are starting out in their own 20 yard line. From the split backfield go the Raiders. Pitch over on this side, flag on the play. And he's gonna turn it upfield and be pushed out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. However, there is a flag on the play. Dropped very early. So there is two people in motion for the Red Raiders, and so this one's coming back. We'll send them back to the 15 yard line if UD takes the penalty, which I assume they would. We'll see. Called on the Red Raiders, takes them back to the 15. It'll be first and 15 now from the, uh, first and 15 from the 15 yard line. Again, using the split backfield. Quarterback will throw. Fires one over the far side, it's good, and he bounces away from one would-be tackler. Now, as you can see, the rain coming down pretty steadily here in our video now. Out to the 20-yard line, a five-yard gain on the play. It'll be second down and a six-yard gain on the play. It'll be second and nine. Rain beginning to fall here at the ballpark. Second and nine. QB wants to throw, fires one downfield. Got a man out here, it's gonna be Lucas picking it off for the Trojans. Lucas has got it at the 25 and down to the 22 yard line goes Jared Lucas with a fine interception. A pop up that time by the quarterback of uh, the Red Raiders. Kind of popped that one up in the air and Lucas brought it back for a, a uh, good interception to the 22 yard line of uh, the Red Raiders, first and 10, UD. And Smeltz in the backfield for UD. 
Handoff is to Savage. Up the middle with it. Down to the 20. Oh, he's ringnecked to the ground. Inside the 15 yard line. Almost enough for the first down. Looks like he gained about eight or so. Nine, maybe. About eight. Second down and a very short two. Nice run that time by Jim Savage. It'll be at the 14 and a half, 13 and a half yard line is where they spot it. Actually moved the stick, so it's about a nine yard gain on the last play. Here's Savage again with it. And he's going to pick his way around the right side. Jim down to the seven, maybe where they'll mark it out of bounds. You can see the field getting a little bit slippy now. Some of the fellas would be tacklers as well as the runners having a little bit of a footing problem out there now. It's just a very, very light rain. And as I said, it should quit momentarily. But right now the ball is spotted at the seven yard line where the Trojans will have it first and goal from the seven yard line. Looking to get their 20th point on the board here. We can sock one in. First and goal. Jack, uh, Zach the Ripper smelts at the fullback spot. Lateral back out here for Savage. Savage going to try to turn the left side over here. Is at the 10 and then gets back to the six maybe. Not too much on that play. Is it lateral, lateral that back deep for Jimmy? Jimmy had a long way to run just to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Maybe picked up a yard on the play. It'll be second and goal from the six. Second and goal from the six yard line. They'll line it up the same way. The I formation for UD. On a second and goal from the six. Faust calling the signals. Faust looking and getting smothered now as the 44 comes in and makes the first sack of the evening for the Red Raiders. A big defensive play for uh, Lords and timeout will be called by the Upper Dolphin Trojans. Now they'll take their final timeout of the first half as they're looking now at a third and goal but the ball back to the 11 yard line. So the Trojans having a bit of difficulty here call timeout and uh, see if we can regroup. We'll be right back remaining here in the first half going a big third down play from the 11 yard line now Faust to throw fires one got a man open it's Lucas at the two can he get in oh did he no not quite oh Jared Lucas stopped at the one yard line Jared caught it tried to spin away from that Red Raider but uh, just could not quite get it it'll be on the one yard line It'll be fourth and goal from the one. Crowd over here encouraging the boys to go. The ball club encouraging the boys to go. All right, here we go on a fourth down and one yard to go from the one. Sneak over is Faust. Did he get it? He did. Yes, touchdown, says this young man over here. And it is now a 20 to nothing ball game as the Trojans mount the score here in the first half. It is Faust from one yard out, crawling and creeping his way into the end zone for the TD. Jimmy Savage into the ball game now as the extra point kicker. And he has been successful in two previous tries. We'll see if Jim can make it three in a row. He'll be kicking out of the hold of Brian Faust. Snaps good, hold everything. A flag on the play. Pick up a five yard penalty here, so they'll try this and now from back five. Good snap. Placements down and hold everything. We've got a, uh, another penalty coming up this time. Offsides off against the Red Raiders, so that'll put the ball back to the original extra point spot, which would be the 10 yard line for Jimmy. So we'll see if we can get uh, this going here now. Good snap, placement stop, kick is up, kick is good from here. It is good. Jimmy Savage with his third extra point of the ball game of the Trojans lead 21 to nothing and UD will be back to kick off here in just a moment. Five remaining here in the ball in the first half of the ball game Trojans now with a 21 to nothing lead. 
happy to tee it up again here now for UD as they kick it off once again here in the first half. The kick goes down here and it's going to be taken at the 15 yard line. Up the middle he comes with it. Look out, it's got some good running room. Got a couple of guys to beat. Can they catch him? I don't think so. As he's going to run it all the way back for a TD. Yep. A big run back that time by number 11 as he sprung loose down around the 20 yard line and just went all the way. There are no flags on the play, so all of a sudden, the Red Raiders get themselves on the scoreboard real quickly here now as it is a 21 to 6 ball game and their extra point try will be coming up. Good run by that number E11 for the Red Raiders with the big run that time. He'll be the holder right now on the extra point try. Snap is good. Placement's down. Kick is blocked. Uh, good block in there. Might have been, uh, well, I'm not sure. Was it Eddie? One of these guys. Anyway, it is 21 to 6 with 6-10 remaining here in the first half of the ball game. Back deep to receive the kick for UD. And uh, Red Raiders getting ready to kick off. The rain has all but subsided right now. In fact, it may have stopped completely or darn close to it anyway. And so here comes the kick. It's going to be a low kick and it's going to be taken on the fly here by Kevin Motter. Kevin Motter's got it. Kevin up the middle with it. Kevin breaks it loose out here to the 49-yard line. A great run back by Kevin Motter. Good run that time by Kevin Motter all the way back to the 40. Eight. It'll be first and ten. UD on their own 48-yard line. Justin Challenger, 68. Cummins in there for UD in the center of that UD line. And timeout, official timeout here for the equipment problem. That's okay. So we're ready to go. Savage lines up behind Smeltz. Savage gets the call, tries the right side, blocking a couple of guys, but nowhere that time as he'll get maybe a, a yard or nothing, nothing on that one. Second down and 10. Second and 10 for the Trojans. The Ripper, the only one in the backfield for UD. Faust will throw, gets a good block, and now he's got pressure on him, and they're going to be thrown down as uh, the loss will take the Trojans back to the 43-yard line. It'll be third down at about six. Third down, 16 for UD. Let's see if we can do something with this. And now Faust wants to throw. Fires one down the far side. Man is out there, but it's, oh, a little overthrown maybe. Lucas was the intended receiver, but the pass a little bit overthrown, I believe, and out of bounds. Wow, but he was there all alone. I bring up a fourth down for UD. Remember that one. Yeah. Punt off pretty nicely back here, and it's going to be uh, received by Kiefer 43, and he's going to be dragged out of bounds on the far side of the field. It's like uh, Matt Cummins might have knocked him out of bounds there. Was that Matt, Jim, that did that? It looked like it. 44. Oh, 44. Miller. Joel Miller. All right. <laughs> Take the ball spot on a 36 yard line. Yeah. Now on a first and 10 for Lords. Motion comes over this way. QB will pitch it and Keeper and Keeper will be belted down as Motter comes up and puts a hit on him after a gain of about three on the play. He'll make it two on the play. It'll be you know, three. Yep. Second and seven for the Red Raiders of Lords Regional. They'll go to the I formation in the backfield. Pitches back there for that 43. Flags on the throw on the play. And the ball is carried across the 45, but there are penalty flags out here. As uh, 
The Raiders were in motion. I think they had two guys in motion that time. The 35 yard line now, where it'll be uh, second down and nine. Another pop-up down the far side over there, and it's going to be incomplete. Coverage out there by uh, Minnick. But it falls as an incompletion, and it'll bring up a third down and nine. Okay, on a third and nine play. Quarterback wants the throw. Dumps a little screen off over here to that 43. And he'll go around the right side and gets up to the 44-yard line. He'll be short by a yard or so. And we'll bring up a fourth down and about three or two. And so the Red Raiders will call time as they'll try to figure out if they can get a fourth and two play together here against UD. We've got three minutes, eight seconds remaining in the first half of play. Cummins will check out of the ball game for UD. Okay, they're going to go for it as Lord's Regional decides they can get two on UD. Let's see if we can tighten it up here. Pitches over here to Snyder. Snyder tripped up in the backfield on a fine tackle by Jimmy Savage. Coming up and clipping him right at the ankle and tripped him up out there. And so a big defensive play by UD and Jimmy Savage in particular that time. And that will give the ball back to the Trojans now on the 42-yard line of Lords Regional. And the Trojan offense will go back to work and hold everything. Now we've got an official timeout on the play for a little bit of equipment adjustment here for one of the Red Raiders. So Trojans now on a first and 10 from the 42. Okay, ready to go here now on a first down play for UD. Brian Faust, the QB, stepping back, firing one, near side. Over here, it's complete to Chris Smith. And Smith will be stopped at the 37-yard line. Chris Smith on the reception for the Trojans. Nice little short gain on the play of about five. Yeah, bringing up second down and five. Nice, nice play, nice pass play. And second and five. Ball now at the 36-yard uh, line of uh, Lords Regional. Single set this time, Savage. Faust wants to throw, looks this way, fires one over here, it's complete to Smith, and Smith will take it to the 20. A good catch that time by Chris Smith, as a defender right there kind of gave up on Chris, I believe, and left him loose, and Chris, with another five or six yards following that play, took it down to the 20-yard line. First and 10, UD on a 20. Yeah. Kid went for the ball that time, and Smith just took it away. Here's a handoff for Savage. Savage tries to go up the middle with it this time. Nothing doing there. There's about six white shirts all over Jimbo. And uh, no gain on it. It'll bring up a second down. Loss of a yard. It'll be second down and 11. First half of our ball game. Faust looking him over. Rolling to back to fire one over the middle, incomplete. Intended for Chris Smith, but uh, falls as an incompletion. We'll bring up a third down and eleven. So on a third and eleven, they send Lucas Hassinger and Amater out as flankers on the near side of the field, and Faust has it. Rolls over to the right, but he's going to be smothered under. And will bring up a fourth down play now as Brian unable to find anybody and gets tackled in the backfield for a loss back to the 27 yard line. They'll bring up fourth and about 18. And so UD will have to come up with a big play here on fourth down. Both teams now tightening up on the defense. It would appear as Lords Regional tightening up on the Trojans at any rate. So here we go on a fourth down play. Fourth down and long. Faust has to throw it, has the ball tripped out of his hands, and that's going to do it as the series comes to an end for UD. And Regional will take over here at the 
34 yard line. It'll be first and 10, Lords Regional on their own 34 yard line. They will have a one minute, two seconds remaining here in the first half of play. First and 10, 102 left here in a half. Passing, dumping one down this way. It is going to be incomplete. Eric McCabe was the intended receiver, defending back there, uh, Minnick, on the play for UD. All right, here we go on a second down and 10. We're back to dump one over here for 11. And he'll be knocked out of bounds here in front of the UD bench. He's coming up to make him is uh, Lucas along with uh, Kyle Grave making the stop that time for UD. Or Jeff, who? Jeff Miller. Jeff Miller. Okay. First down for the Red Raiders now at the 44 yard line of uh, Lords Regional. 48 seconds remaining here in this uh, first half. Trojans want desperately to keep these guys off the scoreboard here now. We don't want to get them close here to begin the second half. We want to maintain that margin we have. So uh, let's see. Passing play over in a screen to the left side. Smith with the stop along with uh, 44 of UD. Timeout called. Second and nine will be coming up here in just a moment with 40 seconds left in the half. Let's see what happens now as they'll thank everybody out on the near side here on this second down and nine. Hey, he's getting a big rush, but then he'll get away and fire one downfield. It is going to be incomplete. Oh, bounces off number 11. He should have had, I think, modern covering back there, but boy, it bounced right off 11. And should have been caught. And he, young fellow, knows it. All right. So it'll be fourth down, or third down, rather, and uh, nine for Lords Regional. Okay, huh? Third down. Nine, 31 seconds remaining. Back, here comes Bell, uh, Cummins putting the pressure on him back there that time. So uh, good job there by Matt the Hoople Cummins. Coming in there and putting pressure on the QB, made him throw really early, just dumped it off to almost no one. So we'll bring up a fourth down and nine. Here now with 26 seconds left in the first half. <clears throat> This time they'll put their flankers out on both sides of the field, really. Pass, dumping to get down this way. It is going to be incomplete. All right, Lucas uh, defending on the play out there for UD. And that turns the ball over to the Trojans now with 19 seconds left here in the first half. And the Trojans get set to run one play. Okay, Faust will set them up here at the just shy of the 45 yard line of uh, the Red Raiders. Smeltz and Savage in the backfield. Pitches to Savage, tries the right side, up the middle, he's looking around for some running room, can't find much as he gets it down to the 41 yard line. Gain of almost five on the play, it'll be second down and five, but that's gonna do it as the clock is down to six minutes and that's gonna end the first half with both teams out of timeouts. And so the Trojans will go into the locker at halftime with a fine 21 to six lead here over these Red Raiders. So we'll be back with the second half kickoff here in just one moment. 21 to six to score at halftime. Way to go boys. For the second half, the Trojans will be required to kick off to the uh, Red Raiders of uh, Lords Regional here as we begin the second half of play and uh, Lords were the final team to score in the first half. The Trojans put that 21 nothing up and then uh, Regional came right back and or was it 14 nothing and Regional came back and made it 14 six something like that at any rate. Uh, UD with a uh, lead here going into the second half, 21 to six. Want to keep it that way and build on that if we can. So uh, let's go Trojans. 
Here's a kickoff for the second half of play now. It goes all the way down to the 12-yard line. He's at the 15 to the 20, the 25, and up to the 30-yard line he goes. Stop made in there, I think, by a couple of Trojans. And it'll be placed at the 31-yard line. And we have a Red Raider shaken up on the run back. Okay, first and 10 now for the uh, Red Raiders, starting at their own 31-yard line. Handoff is to 11. He's not going to get much out of that. Coming up there is that Noel Miller, or Joel Miller, making a stop on him, along with uh, Smith. Second down, 10. <clears throat> Go with a single set this time in the backfield Do the Red Raiders. Quarterback, a handoff number 11. He runs into a couple of guys in his own backfield, and he's finally stopped up there as uh, Bueller making the stop for the uh, Trojans. Robbie had a good low tackle on him that time. Cummins checks into the ball game for UD. He will replace uh, Justin Mattern. <clears throat> Center of that Trojan defensive line. On a third down and seven. From the 34. UB would like to throw. Fires one over the near side. Intended for number 43. Pulse is an incompletion. Good rush again that time by the UD defensive line. Putting some pressure on the quarterback. Forcing him to throw early. And it'll bring up a fourth down now. So the Trojans have held them nicely here. And we'll get the ball back. See if we can... Generate some offense as we'll send back Savage Deep to, re to uh, return this punt. He'll be back there along with number two, Lucas. And 18, the short man up there is that Sean Lunge, or Sean, or Bo Hassiger, rather. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I got Sean tonight, but anyway. Okay, let's see what kind of a snap we get here. High snap. Whoops, he bobbled it once, but he gets the punt off. Not too deep here. It's going to hit at around the 35 or so yard line. Be downed right at the 35. So Trojans will put it in play first and 10 now from their own 35 yard line. First and 10 for the Trojans. Kenny Batts lines up as the fullback on this first series here in the second half. Behind him is uh, Savage. Handoff is to Bat or to uh, Bats, I think it is. Yeah, it is Kenny. Kenny's got a yard or so to the 37-yard line. Maybe we'll see where they put it. I think around the 37. Picked up about two. It'll be second and eight now for UD. On a second down play now. Second down and eight for UD. Faust, looking him over. He'll throw. Fires one over here for Matter, and uh, Kevin Matter can't hang on to that one. And right off Kevin's fingertips, and it'll bring up a third down and eight. Okay, so UD will try it on a third and eight now. Need to get a first down here. Pitches back for Savage. Savage going to try the right side. He's got some blocking out there. Hit him, but he's going to be run out of bounds before he can make a turn. And that's going to bring up fourth down now. So the Trojans not having it going so good here on offense in the last couple of series. And they'll be forced to punt this one out of there as they're looking at a fourth down and eight. And uh, Henninger called in there to punt this ball away for UD. Low snap. You pick it up. He'll kick it. And he's got a good kick off. Even though he had to reach down and pick that up. Gets a good UD bounce from going out of bounds over there. And he'll be down at the 34 yard line or so. 33 maybe. Something like that. So Lords will take over as Kinch jogs off the field here for UD. <clears throat> Lords at their own 33 to begin this series. 43, uh, Kiefer has the football. He's tripped up 
in there before he gets more than about two. It'll be second and eight. Joel Miller making the stop for UD. Okay, on a uh, second down and eight. Up the middle with it goes Keeper, and he's got a couple of yards close to a first down, picking up about eight on the play. It'll be just short the way it looks from here. Are they going to measure? No, it'll be third down and less than a yard. <clears throat> so the Trojan defense has to knuckle down here now. Got eight minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And the Trojans up 21 to six, but uh, the uh, Lord's regional boys here are starting to show some signs of life. From the I formation they go with the split backs also in there. And here is a first down play as he dives across the 45 to the 46 yard line. It'll be first and 10, Lords Regional, the Red Raiders. On a first and 10 from the eye. Second man's got it, and he's going to be tackled. A nice low tackle in there that time by UD, number 59, Kyle uh, Grafe. Tripping him up, I believe. Hard or so on the play. It'll be second down and uh, just about eight. Wow, got to get a guy off the field here, and he made it. They'll swing it around this side, and he is going to be nailed out here after not much on that one. What the heck do you call that? 65 will draw himself a penalty. What in the world's wrong with that boy? At any rate, personal foul will be called against 65. Why not? He's just wrestling around all over the place in there. And the referee's standing right there. Strange play. At any rate, was it? Yeah. Matt Cummins on the bottom of the pile. Matt just laying there, and the guy sort of throwing him around. So uh, that'll cost him 15. Kind of a pretty bad play for the Raiders as they are taken back now to the 35 yard line, where it'll be second down and about, uh, or third rather, third and 19. Or 22, something like that. 21. Okay. So let's see if we can't do something here with these boys. Look how fast they go. Fires one deep. Man is out here. It's going to be tipped up in the air. Incomplete. Defending out there, Chris Smith for UD. Fourth down coming up. UD will get the ball back. Raiders will have to punt the ball away. Back to receive will be Lucas and uh, Savage for UD. High snap, but they're going to get it booted out here. Fair catch called for and made by Jim Savage at the 37-yard line. So UD will put it in play right there. First and 10 on their own 37-yard line with 5.55 left here in the third quarter. Trojans up 21-6. This time the UD will go with no... Uh, no run, no one set up in the backfield. Pass over the middle, blocked at the line of scrimmage. 76 may have got a hand on that one for the Red Raiders, knocking it down. Second down and 10. Okay, UD will go to work again. This time they will set uh, Savage in the backfield as a lone set for UD. Handoff is to Jimmy Savage. Cuts it upfield. Tries to go around the left side. Now he's got some running room, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds down here in front of the UD bench. Fine run by Jimmy Savage, picking him up and laying him down and getting it down to the 45-yard line of the Red Raiders. First and 10, UD. Big third down play that time by UD. Good run. And UD inside the Raider, inside Raider, in Raider territory is what I'm trying to say. Okay, first and 10. From the 35, 45. Everybody on the near side of the field this time. Savage again with the football going around the right side. If he's got a couple of guys, he's got to beat though, not that time. Big number 83 comes up and makes a stop on him. 
And uh, loss of a yard on the play. It'll be second down and 11. Okay, let's see what we can do here on a second and 11. Faust dumps one over the near side here. It's incomplete. Well, I'm not sure. And I'll, uh, Bo Hassinger wasn't sure who that was for, and uh, neither were Motter or uh, Lucas, I guess. So kind of a question on that play. But anyway, brings up a third and 11. It looked like it was set up very nicely out here, but wasn't really thrown to any of the three receivers, all of whom were open. Here comes Motter coming this way. Here comes Faust running the flag on the play and upfield goes Faust gets into the 38 yard line, but a flag down here. And we had maybe two guys in motion. Or, yep, against UD. So that's coming back. And it'll still remain third down, but it'll be a bunch. Illegal motion. Repeat the third down, and they'll set the ball back to the 49-yard line of Upper Dolphin and bring up a third down and about 15. Zach the Ripper Smeltz will check back into the ball game for UD. From the shotgun uh, gun they go this time. Faust to throw. Dumps one down the side over here, and there's no one out here. Now, I'm not sure what happened to Bo that time, but uh, he sure didn't uh, get within 15 yards of that pass, I believe. So uh, it'll be fourth down now, and the Trojan offense sputtering here a little bit. Hassinger into the ball game to punt this ball away for UD. See if he gets, or Henninger rather, see if he gets a good snap here. Yep, good snap. And the kick is nice. Boy, nice high up into the darkness this one goes. And this is going to bound around down there. Picked up at the 10. Then up the side he comes. And now look at him cutting back. A nice run back by this young fella. Finally knocked out of bounds over there. But a fine run back. He took that up from about the 8-yard line all the way out to the 48-yard line. So a heck of a run that time by that young fella from the Red Raiders. And it'll be first and 10, Lords Regional on their own 49. Okay, first and 10, Lords Regional, right out in front of us. They go from the eye this time. Pass over here in the flat, he goes with one. Tackle made out there by number 18, Bo Hassinger, making the stop. Gate of six or so in the play. About six. It'll be second and four. Okay. Looking at a second down and four now. Ball at the 45-yard line of Upper Dauphin. Again, from the eye they go. Another little screen out on the far side of the field. And this time he'll bounce off one tackler. Another tackler. First down, down to the 32-yard line. Number 11, another good catch and a fine run following the catch. To the 31 he goes, it'll be first and 10, Lords Regional. They're making a move. These uh, Red Raiders starting to act up. First and 10 for Lords. Split the backs this time in the backfield, see what they do with this one. Quarterback hands it off and up the middle for a yard or so goes the young fella. Tripped up in there by uh, Justin Challenger, I believe. Picked up one, second down nine. From the eye for the Lord's Regional boys. Quarterback fakes once, fires one down the sideline. It is going to be caught, I think. It is caught, bobbled around, but caught by number 11. Heck of a catch by that young fella there. As a, Two Trojan defenders back there with him, and he was able to bobble it up in the air and come down with it on his chest. So it is first and goal from the seven-yard line of UD now. So the Trojan boys have got to get tightened up here on the defense. My gosh. First and goal from the seven-yard line. 
pitch. Handoff, and this time they capture him immediately. Kyle Grafe making a good stop in there for UD, along with uh, Challenger. Second and goal. Second and goal. Ball still looks like about the seven yard line. Second and goal. What's the throw? Fires one over this side. It is complete. He'll drag it down to the four. Lucas making a stop, but there's a flag on the play right here. And it's going to be illegal motion against the Red Raider. Boy, that's a break. Trojan crowd will go with that one as the uh, ball was stopped. The runner was stopped at the four, but uh, they got to bring this one back a little bit. And uh, that'll bring up a Illegal motion called against the Red Raiders. So it's a second down and 13, second and 13. Okay, second and 13 now looking at the uh, second and goal from the 13 for the Red Raiders. All right, let's see what we can do here now on a uh, second and goal from the 13. Makes it a little better looking here for UD. Whoa, hold everything now. We might have given five of those back. We'll see. Illegal procedure, dead ball, offsides UD. Takes the ball to the eight, where it'll be second and goal from the eight. And goal from the eight yard line now. Let's see if we can hold them here. Quarterback fakes it, looking to throw. Fires over, man is open out of the fingertips of number 11. Oh, look out, Jim, look out, Jim. Look out, Jim. Wow. No flag, I don't believe. Wow, third and goal from the eight. Coming up now for UDA, or for the uh, Red Raiders. Let's see if we can get in here and get them. Oh, 65 jumps off sides. And that should move it back. Now it's both teams getting really excited about this. <laughs> and that'll take it back to the 13 again. So we can see saw back and forth here. And now timeout's gonna be called by the Red Raiders. Well, we've got uh, 28 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. And the Trojans still hanging on to that uh, 21 to six lead. Try this again. We've got to keep trying this till we get it right for one of these teams. Third down from the 13. Third and goal. Quarterback wants to throw one. Fires one down the far side over there. Oh, look out. If that's not interference, I quit. And it is. Pass interference called on the play. And justifiably so, I would guess. And that's going to really stir things up now. The See how they rule on this one. Interference, of course, will be the call against UD. It's automatic first down. It takes the ball down to the seven yard line. Wow. First down, goal to go from the seven. Well, that's where we began the series, I believe. So uh, see if the Trojans can hold them here now. 22 seconds remaining in the uh, third quarter. Wow. So here we go on another first and goal this time from the six or so. Up the middle he goes with it. He is down to the three. He's got about half of them. Stopped in there by any number of uh, Trojans. Second and goal from inside to three for the Red Raiders. We're on us here in the third quarter as it has come to an end. So we've got 12 minutes to play and the Trojans clinging to that 21 to six lead. But uh, the Red Raiders trying to see if they can change that now as they'll go on a second and goal from about the two and a half yard line. Just inside the three yard mark there where you would normally run your extra points from. The Trojans looking at uh, holding these guys out here. They're looking at a second and goal from inside the three. 
43 with it, and he's down to perhaps the two, not too much as the Trojans tighten him up pretty quickly down there. Looks like uh, Bo Hassinger and uh, Jack, Zach the Ripper smelts in there uh, leading that stop that time. Cummins will check out of the ball game. Challenger back in there to replace uh, Matt. Third down and goal from about the one. Quarterback wants to sneak it and he's not gonna get anywhere. Hey, they drive him back. A good play in there by Kyle Grave. Assisted by Jared Lucas. It'll be fourth and goal. And uh, timeout called as we have a Trojan shaking up on the play. But the ball is going to be spotted back at the three yard line where it'll be fourth and goal from the three. For Smeltz, the young fellow that uh, was shaken up on the play, but Zach's coming off on his own power, which is always good to see. And he's a bull out there. He'll be back. As we're looking now at a fourth down, the crowd really stirring the kids up here now as they go. Cheering them on. Here we go. Big play here in the ball game. Fourth and goal from the three yard line. The Red Raiders set it up. Handoff uh, number 11. And he has got it. And has he got it? He is going to be stopped. Let's see if they're. I didn't see a signal yet. Timeout while they unscramble them. Let's see. Red Raiders say it's a touchdown, but it is not. As I don't believe it is going to be UD ball. The Trojans have held them. The Trojans have held them right at the goal line. A great defensive stand by the UDA Trojans. Boy, I'll tell you, if this doesn't spark up this ball club, nothing would. As they held them on, they, they had a fourth, or had a first and goal from the six yard line and held them all the way. So good job, fellas. Now, if we can get out of here as Faust will enter the ball game to quarterback the Trojans on offense, defense doing one heck of a job there. And we may call timeout. It is. Timeout's going to be called by Upper Dolphin. We're going to try to figure out how do we get out of here now. We've got the ball on about the one yard line or less. First and 10 when we come back. What a defensive stay in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. The Trojan timeout is over. They put uh, the Bammer Bats in at uh, fullback now. Handoff is to Bats, and Bats will try to get a little bit of yardage, and he got out, uh, let's see, took a safety. No, he didn't get any yardage, had the wrong line. So the Trojans take a safety here now as they could not get it out of the end zone. They were starting way back there, and so uh, Lords Regional picks up two points, and more importantly, they will get the ball now as the Trojans will be forced to punt the ball away uh, to the uh, Lawrence Regional boys. So we'll see what uh, develops here now as it's a 21 to eight ball game and the Trojans with a free kick from their own 20 yard line. So we'll see what happens. And remaining in our ball game, it's 21 eight UD. Er will be set to kick it off here now. He has uh, the ball. And uh, he will keep the football now as he'll be forced to punt this one away. He'll step up to the 20 to get it off. And he did. Not a long kick at all. Kind of short wobbly. Going to be bouncing around out here and taken at the 45. And he's going to be hit out there as uh, 42 Eddie. 13 coming up there helping to make the stop for the uh, Trojans. That's a Greg Minnick. And so it'll be put in play. At the 46 almost, just about the 46 yard line of uh, Lords Regional. Or, huh? No, 46. 46. Yep, 46. Okay. First and 10. Raiders, who were just denied here moments ago, now get the ball back very quickly and uh, see if the UD can stop them. Back to pass, he goes, dumps one over the middle, it is going to be intercepted. Here comes Smith. Chris Smith with one man to beat. Oh, and a good tackle down here by 43. Chris Smith will bring it back for UDA, back to the 29-yard line. First, down, 10 First and 10, UD. 
All right. Well, that should give the boys a boost again now as they go back on offense, this time in great field position at the 29-yard line. They'll set it at the 28 and a half, something like that, for the UDA to start off on. Smelts back into the ball game. Good to see uh, Zach the Ripper back in there. He'll set up as the lone setback on this first play from scrimmage for UD. Handoff is to Smelts. Smelts over the left side. Bounces ahead for about four yards or so. We'll see. Second down. They gave him three. Second and seven. Second down and seven. Whoa, second down and uh, two, perhaps. We'll see. Was he drawn off or did they uh, jump off? I think they encroached on us. They did. Encroachment against the Red Raiders will make it a second down and two. The ball will be spotted at about the 20-yard line. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Single set in the backfield again is the smelts the smelts hey off the right side look out smelts all the way down to the seven yard line a good run as zach the ripper takes it all the way down to the seven yard line it'll be first and goal ud from the seven yard line good job there ripper way to go zach sophomore zach the ripper smelts and the river's got it again, and this time he'll bounce off one tackler, get down to the five and down to the four before he's brought down. Another run that time off the left side that time by Jack. Zach the Ripper smelts. Second and goal for the Trojans from the five yard line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's he ran over his, his hole there. Yeah. Yeah, Matt the Hoople. Cummins leading away that time. This time they'll put Savage back in as a running back. Let Zach Smelts remain as the fullback on this play. And it'll be uh, Savage. Savage up the middle, in for six. Hey, a touchdown, Jimmy Savage from about six yards out or so. And uh, that makes the score 27 to 8. Jim limping a little bit after that one, but uh, well, let's see. I guess he's going to be okay, but he does have a slight limp. And so it'll be extra point time coming up here for UD. Here's the snap. It's good. Placement's not. No, it's not. They're going to have to run it. Here comes Faust. Faust can run it in from here. Yes, sir. Good two-point conversion by Brian Faust, and it's now 29 to, well, there it is, 29 to 8 with 8.33 remaining here in the football game. UD will be kicking off here in just a moment. Good job, fellas. Way to go. All right. Yeah, number one, right, right. Got her teed up again now as the Trojans go on the defense to kick off here for two of those uh, <clears throat> Lords Regional boys. Here comes the kick. It is good. This time going to be taken down here at the 14-yard line. Upfield he comes with it to the 30-yard line where he is gang tackled out there by a number of Trojans. Including number 82, Henninger, number 13, Minnick, number 64 out there is that uh, Waters coming up to make the stop on him. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Red Raiders. They have the ball at the 30-yard line of uh, Lords Regional. First and 10 for Lords. Back to pass goes the QB. He's going to look to throw one. Fires one downfield. Got the pass off. The ball is tipped in the air. Recovered here by Lucas. Lucas has got it. There's a penalty flag, however, and Lucas has the interception, but they're going to throw him down out here. But there's a flag down, and probably interference is going to be called on the Trojans, one would think. We'll find out. Let's, let's see. Penalty against the Raiders offensive pass interference. Wow. Okay, so the Trojans get a break there, and UD will have the ball on the 43 yard. 
43 yard line of the Red Raiders. So boy, oh boy, good interception there by Lucas. And uh, he will flank out on the near side of the field, but timeout called first uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure. 76 here has an equipment problem, I believe. So uh, we'll be right back. Got a first and 10 now for UDA, the ball on the Lord's 43 yard line. Handoff this time comes back here to Savage. Savage tries the right side, gets some yardage, and then he's going to be thrown out of bounds. The face mask will be called. First meeting of these two ball clubs, and uh, looks like the Red Raiders are getting, getting, going to get a little bit obnoxious here, perhaps. You don't know. We'll see. Personal foul, face mask, and they have the option of 5 or 15. This will be a big one. It's going to be a 15 yarder that time it'll take the ball down inside the 25 to the 23 yard line where timeout is going to be called by Lords Regional. It's first down for UDA face mask is the call and uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Here we go now as the uh, timeout is over. Trojans with another golden opportunity here now as they'll uh, pass this one. Fire one down the left side. It is caught over there by uh, Bo Hassinger, and Hassinger's got it and is tackled out at about the. Well, he picked up about eight on the play or so. It'll be second down now. The ball spotted at the 15 yard line or just inside the 15 yard line. Second and two. Smelts and Savage in the backfield for UD. Handoff is a Savage. Up the middle, he goes with it down to the 11, maybe. First down on the play, picking up about four or five. Goes Jim Savage. In there, uh, leading the way that time, Kinch and Cummins. First and goal from the nine. He did get inside the tenth. First and goal from the nine. The Trojans would not, like nothing better than to add six more here. Leading 29 to eight with 7.08 left here in the ballgame. <clears throat> Savage again. This time he'll pick his way around the right side and he is going to be thrown down for a loss of maybe a yard or so on that play. Not too much on that one. Jim did not get a chance to cut it upfield. And so it'll be set back at the 10. Loss of one on the play. Second and goal from the 10 yard line. Cummins coming off the field for UD. Lucas, the flanker, on the far side of the field for UD. Hassinger on his side. This is uh, Smelt. Smelt's up in the middle, all the way down. Touchdown! Touchdown, Matt Smelt. Or Matt, uh, or uh, Zach Smelt. Good boy, Zacharoni, getting himself six. And timeout as Zach is shaking up. Zach is definitely shaking up on a play. He's sitting up, but he's uh, shaking up. Got uh, a wheel problem, I think. So let's see if Zach's going to be all right. But the Trojans quickly with Zach the Ripper Smelt. Smelt. Uh, running it in from about 10 yards out. 6-11 remaining here in the ball game. Trojans up 35-8 to eight with an extra point try coming up. Point try coming up here now again as Jimmy Savage will try to boot this one in. Good snap. Placement's down. Kick is up. Kick looks good from here. It is good. And so with eight or 614 remaining how we've got a 36 to 8 ball game here and UD will be kicking off to the Lord's Regional Red Devils in just a moment. Jason Hanninger's got her teed up for the umpteenth time tonight as the Trojans uh, with that continuing that torrid scoring pace have put uh, 36 points on the board tonight and here comes his kick it's going to go deep down here taken at the 11 yard line he's going to take it up field here and finally be tackled on some good tackling out here by UD 71 in there on the stop for the uh, Trojans that's at uh, Justin Hunsberger making the stop along with number 11 Loesch 
Matt Loesch will play in the ball game now as will Minnick. We got some new guys in here. Justin Weiss, number four in the ball game for UD. Grafe will check out. Hunsberger will check back in along with uh, Waters. And uh, several new faces in here. Kinch still in there. 50, 58. Uh, Jeffrey Knoll in there for UD. So let's see if these guys can hold these Red Raiders down a little bit. Here comes 43. Ah, good stop. As somebody got a hand on, looks like 54 Kinch grabbing him by the jersey and pulling him down, putting a stop on him. Aaron Kinch making a good uh, defensive play that time. 77, Justin Mattern trips out of the ball game. Kenny Batts in there to call defensive signals now as Barter uh, checking out of there. 535 left here in the ball game. Gain of two on the last play, it'll be second down and eight. Up the middle they go with it, and he's gonna be, well, he's still dragging ahead here now, as looks like a rugby scrum out here. Finally, they'll drag him back as about six Trojans grab the hold of him. Minnick and Bats and uh, 58 uh, Mattern in there. Or Noel, rather. Third down three for the Red Raiders. Right, yep, here we go on a third down and long three, maybe four, from the 31-yard line. Pitches back over there at 27, 64, and hey, there's Waters in to make the big stop. Ethan Waters with a big tackle in the backfield that time for UD. Dropping him for a loss all the way back to the 23 yard line. Loss of seven on the play. It'll be fourth down and a long two, or fourth down and 12. And boy, this uh, squad out here has done a job. All right, they'll put uh, Lucas number two and Bo Hassinger back to receive this punt. See what kind of a snap he got. Another high snap, but no rush by UD. Though they pop a little one out here, not very far at all. In fact, it's going to go over the far side and go out of bounds. So that'll be uh, punted out of bounds and a penalty flag over there. Let's see on whom. Flag is laying back here, so they find out where the referee is. Here he is. They're going to talk to the Red Raiders, so the Trojans have come up with a penalty, but after the kick, you would think, of course, because it was downfield, so the Trojans will, or should maintain possession, I think. Illegal person downfield. Oh, first down, first down. Too many men, Too many men on the field, yep, wow. Automatic first down for the Raiders. So the Trojans getting a little goofed up on the substitutions, ended up with 12 men or more, and uh, so we're going to have a first down for the Raiders with three minutes, 50 seconds remaining here in the ball game. Trojans looking to make it three in a row here, the first time ever that these two teams have met, and the Trojans have handled them pretty easily tonight. So, first and 10. Handoff, up the middle he goes with it and uh, gets a yard or two and another flag on the play now as things beginning to get a little ragged out there maybe. We'll see what this is. The call says personal foul face mask against UD. So that'll march him up the field 15 yards and take the ball all the way down here to the 46 yard line. Wow. Must have been another flagrant one because they can call a five now this year, but uh, the referee takes a 15 for that one. So to the 46 yard line they go. Oh, okay. So uh, it'll be first and 10. The Red Raiders on the UD now, 46 yard line. Up the middle. No, not going much on that one. Good stop in there. Some good, good hitting in there as Kinch again in there along with 67 Cummins making the stop for UD. No gain on the play. Second down 10. 
Second and ten for the Red Raiders. They go from the I formation. No gain in the last play. Ball still at the 46-yard line. Handoff is the number four. He'll go around the right side, and he's going to be tackled out there as number nine, Minnick, comes up and makes a good stop on him. That's that uh, Stephen Minnick making a stop. Gain of two. It'll be third down and seven. Cummins trotting off the ball field now for UD. On a third and uh, seven. Same eye formation in the backfield for the Red Raiders. First man gets the football and he'll head up to the 40 yard line, picking up about three on the play. It'll be third down, or fourth down rather. Ball at the 40 yard line, call it fourth and four. Jeff Knoll checking out of the ball game for UD. All right, on a fourth and four. Pitch back over this way. Coming around the side he goes, but he's going to be hung on to and dragged down very nicely, making the stop in there for UD number 71, Hunsberger, and Twietti also in there for UD. And there's a flag against the Red Raiders. So the uh, Trojans have held, and they will take over here now. Another good defensive series by that Trojan ball club. And it will be first and 10 UD now with just a minute and 29 seconds remaining here in the ball game. 129 left. Coming into the ball game, number 12, Zach Buffington to quarterback the Trojans. But the Trojans will call timeout now to get this new young squad in there. And we'll be right back. Put it in play now, first and 10, as Buffington checks them out here. He'll hand it off. Up the middle goes Twietti with it, and a ball came loose, I thought, there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. The ball came loose, and uh, it'll be turned over now as Twee lost the handle on that one. And they turn it over to the uh, Red Raiders, where it'll be first down for the Red Raiders. Minute 21 left here in the ball game. And the Red Raiders take over. Rodney Welker, number 21, checking into the ball game. Weiss, number four, remains in there for UD. Kenny Batts, number 24, coming in for the Trojans on this defensive squad out there now. From the 45-yard line of Upper Dolphin, it's first and 10 for the Red Raiders of Lords Regional High School. Handoff is a number four, and 64 Waters with a good tackle over there on the far side of the field. Gain of a half a yard maybe on the play, second down and for all intents and purposes, 10. Ethan Waters on the stop. They're third in a row, and the Lords Regional will go to Two wins, one loss. One of their victories coming on a forfeit where the other squad uh, dropped football or something like that. So one of their, their early uh, first game, I think, was a forfeiture. Here's a drive up the middle and uh, making the stop in there. Number 24, Bats, along with number uh, 26 in there for uh, UD. That's uh, that Harry Weaver, the third. Making a stop. Third down and seven. Now because uh, the clock's down to seven seconds, the officials are getting ready to pick up the football as it's going to be a big victory here tonight for this young Upper Dolphin Trojan squad as they will pick up the victory here tonight against these Red Raiders with a final score of UDA 36 and the Red Raiders 8. So uh, good ball game again tonight here for the Upper Dolphin Trojans as they really came to play, extending their uh, winning streak to three ball games now in a row. And uh, boy, it's been a long time since we've had a start like this for this Trojan squad and a uh, happy bunch of ball players here tonight again, for sure. Congratulations to Coach Carson and all his coaching staff and every one of these black-shirted UDA Trojans who really came out to play and, and did a job on these uh, Raiders holding them to just eight points and uh, two of those points of course coming with a UD safety so uh, 
Another big defensive night for the Trojans, another big offensive night for the Trojan squad as well. So everything going smoothly right now, and uh, we'll look forward to next week's ball game when we go over there to Tri-Valley and meet those rough and tough Tri-Valley Bulldogs at uh, Tri-Valley, an away ball game. And uh, of course, we beat Millersburg at Millersburg. We'll go over there and see if we can't beat up on those Tri-Valley Bulldogs at Tri-Valley next Friday night. So we'll see you then again. A very, very interesting, very good ball game for UDA. And uh, now 3-0. Keep it up. Good night from Albert Olfen.